Hey everyone, a quick update. Uh, aquaponics is going pretty good. I had this, uh, I haven't bought any fish yet because I've been trying to make sure the water's ready, but uh, I think I'm going to get some fish soon. Um, it's the middle of February and, uh, well, getting towards the end, so hopefully uh, spring will be here pretty soon. It's been pretty cold out here. Um, obviously, I got my rafting project still going. I got the uh, system running and the uh, water going through. Had a lot of rain last night. I have some seeds up here that are starting to uh, uh, germinate so I can put them in the aquaponics later. And some more up there, I don't know if you can see them. But in here in our grow bed, I planted some seeds down here. I basically just threw them in the rocks. We'll see how they turn out, okay? So basically I have this section here and most of this section here filled with seeds. I had these uh, two, uh, these were uh, poinsettias that my wife had from Christmas and uh, they were dying and uh, struggling so I just stuck them in there just as a placeholder. I'll probably take them out later on and put in a, a vegetable or something that I can eat but for right now because I wanted to kind of run my system with a cycle of some sort um, I had some ammonia in the water to uh, do, try to do a fishless cycle and I needed some plants up here to actually filter that out so um, that's what they're doing here anyway that's the aquaponics system I got some peat moss here getting ready to do some uh, some traditional gardening as well here's another grow bed that I may get going this year or at this rate maybe not um, here's uh, my strawberries are doing pretty good they carried through the winter and I got a little bit of celery that I stuck down in there the uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you know if you just cut the uh, when, when the celery has been in the you cut the bottom of the celery just stick it in the dirt and uh, the outer leaves have all like withered away because of the cold weather but I got a little bit of growth right here so I, I'm thinking that that's gonna grow up into a nice celery stock there um, I want to make some more soil for this so that it, the uh, soil level comes up a little higher um, so I'll be working on that project and I just got my uh, largest grow bed set up here this is uh, well basically it's just all compost that I've been composting for a while it looks pretty good and healthy to me there's a layer of cardboard under it um, I try to use the no-till method but uh, well, I needed some more uh, dirt in here anyway, so uh, so I put some more on top of the cardboard. Um, if you're interested in the no-till method, uh, maybe one of these days I can um, do a video on that. Probably getting towards the fall would be the best time. I got my tomato cages up, or at least a couple of them, and then I wanted to show you... Oh, oh by the way, the, the gate fencing stuff over it is just to keep my dog from digging through it, because she does like to like to dig so uh, some of you might ask about this configuration here I got a tomato cage on top of a uh, this wire thing here and this is a this is actually a drying rack is what it is uh, and I have a pole there to help hold it down into the ground um, I'm gonna do an experiment with that uh, trying the Jim Hurt method uh, which uh, I'll have to do more video on a separate video on later but uh, We'll give that a shot and see how it works out. So uh, that's my video for today. I uh, hope you're getting your uh, getting your spring on or, or getting close to it uh, after you dig yourself out of all the snow if you're up in the northwest. Best wishes.